traveling. We are traveling three hours from Raleigh area to Charlotte. So that's how long it takes, three hours. Anyway, sleep deprived as usual, had a lot on my mind. Um, but also a little excited about the trip. Why we're going three hours <laughs> all the way to Charlotte. <laughs> because she's extra, because <laughs> Yeah, doing too much. Say hi, boo boo. Hi, boo boo. <laughs> uh, just trying to concentrate on the weather. Yeah, yeah, the weather's not been great. And it doesn't help when the kids show you videos of car accidents before the trip. Oh, really? Is that what they were doing? Yeah. Uh, Ooh, racing. Changed into a whole new person. <laughs> on dress. Bag, makeup, hair. It's crazy trying to do that in the car. The back of the car. Go down that way. And it's raining. Thank God for braids. Going down this way. Definitely a much bigger mall. Huge. As you may know, for certain luxury houses like Chanel, you can't just go online and buy what you want, even though they have an online store, because I tried. You have to come in person to establish with an essay or fashion advisor, especially when it comes to expensive goods. Wow, awesome. So, which kind of, you say that you want to... I was uh, actually looking for a wallet. A wallet. My. So, the wallet I was looking yesterday for you, let me put my gloves. It's so cute. Yeah, teeny. That's so you have the space for credit card for sure. Right. You know, probably and a car and a car. This card. is probably what lamb or goat. No, that's the that's only one. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but you're right. This is probably. I can toss this and not baby it. It's pretty. Yeah. Like if I could right now, I would love. It. That way. So, like, dark hole and those are small size. The one I have is medium. Oh, right. Yeah, this is small. But this is a good size, too. But I do prefer the feel of the um, lambskin. This, this is a little more But I like the size of the small. And then this one is the 22. 22 what? It's like they have different versions, oh. different collections. So what that means? Yeah, and like um, there's the 19, there's this one, yeah. Some people don't really like it because they think it looks like a trash bag, but Ooh. I like it. But I like the smaller one. I actually like the proportions of the smaller one. And you can't come in for yeah. collection. But I like it with gold hardware. Oh, okay. It's the fifth, it's a Monday. It comes in. Versus, yeah, you, you can show both. You can see the contrast. You can see the difference. You right. see, she does. Okay, I got it. Thanks. Yep. So you want more Coco Mademoiselle or Coco Chanel? Yeah. yeah. I've already purchased the leather good that I came here for and now I wanted a bottle of perfume. Since I had a whole hour for the appointment and I didn't really need an hour, the sales associate took me around to help me pick out the perfume I might like. And while we were looking at perfume, um, you know, classic Chanel perfume, she also suggested I try a different counter. Um, of some exotic perfumes. So here we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, I have to pause here. 
at this moment in time, I have no idea I'm about to go see some of the most expensive perfumes. What is it about me that says I have money like that? I don't, oh. <laughs> no, I don't know this brand. This is Tiziana Terenzi from Italy. Right? I've never, I, I don't know this brand at all. I want you to try this one. That's what the Oriental note. Rose, it's gold, rose gold. Okay. It's sexy, it's different. <laughs> it's different. You know what it reminds me of? Wait, wait. Africa. Um, because of the incense. I'm not gonna lie, these perfumes are some of the most beautifully packaged perfumes I've ever seen and they smell amazing. Lots of oud and exotic scents. It actually did remind me of women in Africa because it's different than the perfumes I've smelt here. Yeah, um, I smell like the first one you did. <laughs> Like most women, I love collecting perfume and I love beautiful bottles. And I got to try this new one called the Telia. I think it's called Telia, T-E-L-E-A. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is the bottle with the starfish on it? It says that it's enchanting the wearer with feelings of limitless freedom. The fragrance opens with sweet Sicilian orange and Bulgarian rose before revealing richer notes of musk and mahogany. Now here's the thing, I didn't have this information that I'm sharing on the screen with you. Do you see the price? On average, $650 for that bottle that you see there. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the candle looks amazing. It's, it's orchid. I to see it. Oh, it looks like that one. So okay. Like that, white, like that white one. Right. And if you want to smell it, it's amazing. When you light it up, it's going to smell like Smell that. even more. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Freeze again. So I'm saying thank you because the sales associate is loading me up with a whole bunch of samples. And wow, I'm impressed. But I don't realize that instead of one bottle of perfume, I have picked up or I have agreed to three bottles of perfume, very expensive bottles of perfume, and I still haven't realized the price yet. Okay. Despite the sticker shock, I will say I did have a good experience with the perfume lady and of course with the Chanel lady. <laughs> but I did promptly put back that $650 bottle of perfume and I ended up buying two bottles of perfume which I will show you in another haul. But anyway, we're in Louis Vuitton and uh, I didn't really get to film much here because they don't really let you film. So um, this is a few of the pieces that I got to see. They have some beautiful pieces, including this vintage luggage set, of course. Let's pretend it's ours. <laughs> It's just a bag. It's supposed to be the corners of oh. the but you know, all the pieces, the corners. Oh, those, it's like buttons. Nails that you yeah, buttons. Put in. Despite being tired, I was definitely hyped up and excited to be around all the designers, Gucci, Prada, Chanel, Kate Spade. You know, it was like the material girl in me came out. Yeah, <laughs> Auntie Annie. <laughs> Get your hair done. You need to get your hair done, Blue. I need to get hair. Jamba juice. I wonder if, um... Cinnabon. Cinnabon. H&M. Hagen Dawes is busy. Ooh, what's this? this I would totally wear that. Or I get a drink. Yeah, so, so after. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, these 
these look comfortable, right? See, this is a um, comfortable heel. Kind of cool. I'd wear that. All right, boo. These ones. But or these ones. Thousand. There you go. That's a grand, right there. But these are, have classics. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I want walking shoes, right? <laughs> Oh lordy. Look at the gold detail on these Givenchy. Givenchy or Givenchy? <laughs> Slingbacks. Very nice. Very nice. Love it. Let's turn our attention to Versace. Versace. Actually, I seriously do love that Medusa head, the gold Medusa head on these pumps. Probably not very comfortable, but very cool. Everyone seems to have the tote bag from Marc Jacobs. I've seen so many dupes, but I plan to get the real thing. And I'm not sure in what color or what size, but it comes in the large, medium, mini, and micro. I think this size that I'm holding is the mini, actually, and I think it's perfect. So I'm just telling Kenton about the different sizes and colors, and uh, he's looking at me like, I don't know what you're talking about, but I also like the bucket bag, and I'm also planning to probably get it in an unusual color. It comes in different colors, different hardware, and I think it's quite practical. And the leather seems to be very good quality. So these bags were definitely on my wish list and I wasn't sure, but now that I've actually got to hold them and examine them and check the quality, I feel comfortable ordering it online because obviously most designers you can order online. So this black and white one is one of the micros in contrast to the mini that I was holding earlier. Yeah, so this one is the mini and that one is a micro. And then this is the medium in the Marc Jacobs tote bag. So you can see the size difference, right? It's also very practical, I think. Yeah, I feel like I would prefer this size better. And of course, you know what's funny? Size. What? They got to put the tote bag on it, like, <laughs> right, so you don't know what, what you got. <laughs> this small one, that, this one. Remember I told you the little, it's like an evening bag though. It's almost like jewelry, isn't it? Yeah, it's like jewelry. And then that's uh, Valentino. Remember the shoes I was showing you? It's kind of to match the shoes. Nice. And there's this Chloe basket bag. Oh, let's put this back up. Stella McCartney just fell down. Puzzle bag, this bag here. This bag here. Puzzle bag? Yeah, it's called because a puzzle bag. The way they, yeah, right, they call it that. This little one is over $2,000. Over two grand. Versus, I'm afraid to see what this one is. This one is. 32 wow over three grand wow Is that a purse yeah it's actually a purse i see a split like you can open it yeah that's what i just said it's a purse they're like evening bags you're so rich that all you need is a uh lipstick that's all that can fit in there lipstick in that little dog then we went into Swarovski because I wanted to try on these rectangular earrings. They are on my birthday wish list. I wanted to see how big and how heavy they are. See, I, I could never make up my mind. Do I want the yellow? Do I want the pink oh, or the green? Look at the room. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> on what if I was wearing a white dress yeah. you would see it a bit more. Mm -hmm. 
So which color would you suggest? The blue, the green, the pink, or the yellow? I'm okay with a little delayed gratification. I'm not buying it right now. I'm going to wait till my birthday. Then these pretty shoes caught my attention. Although I'm really looking for some comfortable slingbacks or mules like these. These look comfortable, right? Let's see. 139 This is reasonable. That's reasonable, right? It's raining heavy, <laughs> so my gentleman husband is going to bring the car over. We're already outside the mall, but I'm standing underneath um, this elevator area. So technically we could go home, but I had planned that I didn't want us to drive so long and then drive back again. So we are staying in a hotel. So I had planned that we stay an overnight at a hotel. A nice hotel. Remember that rat infested hotel? <laughs> well, not rat infested, roach infested hotel we stayed in um, a couple of months ago in uh, Charleston. We're not doing that again. Not doing that again. This time, I definitely took control and uh, made sure we are staying in a nice hotel. Um, and you know what? The kids are happy to see us away for at least a day. So it's a win win even though it's really hard for both of us to kind of relax. Part of me wants to go back and do work. Kenton is also like, ah, oh, I can't relax. We got to go back. But I'm like, no, for once, let us enjoy, even if it's one day, one day off, one day. So that's what we're going to do. So as soon as he gets the car, we're going to go see the hotel and I'll give you a little room tour and then we'll go to dinner. It is really raining hard and my bags are wet. Pretty. I see why you got Neiman Marcus and Chanel around. Yeah. Wow, these are some really beautiful properties. Just look how large the lawn is and how green it is and how massive some of these houses are. I don't know why, when I thought of Charlotte in the past, it always seemed like this sort of concrete jungle. But of course, this is North Carolina, so there are gonna be a lot of suburbs too. Yeah, look at these big Southern houses. So nice. But yeah, it's coming down heavy. Because it's been years since we came to Charlotte, we had planned to do a little sightseeing, you know, on foot, walking downtown. But of course, with the weather being kind of sucky, um, wet and cold, we're just gonna go to the hotel, relax, get something to eat. And of course, I'm gonna give you a little room tour, right? <laughs> yeah, it's been years since we were in Charlotte. And I really like the changes that we've seen so far. Definitely coming back soon. So this is the Grand Bohemian Hotel, downtown Charlotte. First impressions, it's bright, it's colorful, it's eclectic. It's got this Argentinian uh, influence and I love it, love it, love it, love it. Definitely got a lot of glam and a lot of sparkle. Okay. Here you are. Thank you. Congrats, that's just a um, booklet just showing you about the artwork. More, okay. Uh, specific details about the hotel. Right. Uh, like I said, this is an Arge Argentinian themed um, hotel. Each Grand Bohemian is different. Cool. My first thought was, was it Art Deco? But then I was like, not really. Two keys okay? Oh yeah. I like the art part. Okay, we made it into the hotel. In the elevator now, let's see where we at. Okay. 5A, definitely a lot of personality here. This artwork though, 
I'm not too sure about this artwork. <laughs> it's a little dark. Is it? It was 509? Okay, this room is much better. Much better. Before I give you a tour, let's turn on the TV. And let me turn on the lights. All right, so you come in, there's the door. And then there's this little refreshment area. Like I said, the artwork here is a little different. This one's actually not bad. Obviously, this looks like a man and a woman in an embrace and or they're on a horse. Do you see that? Is that what it is? <laughs> and maybe it's a mermaid with a guy on a horse because I see scales. Anyway, you know, the standard hotel stuff. They've got some tea, they've got coffee, they've got water, they've got a mini fridge down here. And then I'm gonna turn to look into the room. And here is a large mirror, which is nice for people like us who like to take selfies. There's a giant mirror. Let me stand here so you can see. <laughs> and I wore this dress or a similar dress for um, Kareem's graduation. It's one of these dresses that I like, so I have them in several different colors. So I have this one in blue green as well as yellow. All right, so you can see nice big mirror. And then over here is the bathroom. Oh my goodness, bathroom looks beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, look at that. Lovely. So, your standard cups, faucet. What kind of body soap do we have here? I don't know this brand. Kelser? Does that say Kelser? Kessler? Kessler? I do not know this brand. But I do like this marble. Turn on the other light. Yes. I like these scones over here. There's a separate toilet. I don't know where the light is for that. It's probably in here. Yeah, you know, standard toilet, door. And then there's a nice little shower room. Let's see. So I'm just gonna close the door to the bathroom. And big glass door, towel. fully tiled. I've never really been one for dark tiles, but it does look elegant. Okay, so we've seen enough of the bathroom. Let's see the rest of this hotel. I am trying to like pep myself up because I'm really actually quite tired. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. So again, there's the giant selfie mirror. Pose, pose. Pose, pose. <laughs> there is, you know, where you hang your clothes up, the little closet, there's shelving above. There's an iron, there are hangers, nice wooden hangers. That's how you know you're in a decent hotel. The hangers are not plastic or wire. They're real solid wood. And an ironing board and a robe. And I've already hung up my jacket. And ta-da, here's the room. So first thing, you can put your luggage up here. And then there's this giant mirror dresser. Totally my vibe, very glamorous. And there's a nice velvet chair. Um, there's a lamp there, the TV you saw. And straight ahead, look at that beautiful chaise. Velvet tufted green chaise. Very nice, I approve. <laughs> and the curtains are pretty. I don't know if we get much of a view, but I don't care. We're only here for a night. And then that glamorous lamp over there on the side of the tufted um, chaise or a fainting couch. And then this picture I actually do like. It's a woman and around her neck she's got butterflies. Okay, and there's a little table there. I brought in my shopping which got all wet. 
um, and this is the giant bed nice puffy or luxurious looking bed love the bed head and the lamps on either side they're actually hanging from the ceiling and then this bedside table is a little different because it's got artwork on the base of the table, which is kind of spooking me out because it looks like she's watching me. Doesn't matter where I stand, that woman <laughs> looks like she's watching me. Look, watch, let me move over here. Her eyes look like she's following me. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Um, there is another piece of artwork above or in front of the bed and that's cool so that's the room that is the room for you all right let's be extra dramatic pretend we live here well you know what we live here for today we live here for today ah, actually this is really comfortable really comfortable if I stay here too long, I might actually fall asleep. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sound like an old lady. We're actually pretty high up. So that's nice. So Kenton wanted to be on his little chase <laughs> like I just did. <laughs> what are you doing, boo boo? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, is that what we're doing now? <laughs> I don't know what you guys do. Really, so. <laughs> Silliness. Uh, handsome, handsome. <laughs> I like this safety feature where you have to use your room key or your card key to swipe to get on the elevator. So basically you can't get on the elevator unless you're a guest at the hotel. Beautiful, thanks. So we're eating dinner at Miko, which is one of the restaurants at the hotel. And as you can see, the prices aren't bad at all. And I love some of the options that they have available. But more importantly, they have gluten-free options, y'all. So I get to eat well and not worry about my stomach. Yeah. This might be guacamole. Yeah, guacamole. So this is appetizer, horseradish, carrots, and celery with three types of dip. One's a guacamole, one's a hummus, and I'm telling you the third is super spicy, but really, really good. It definitely hits the spot, and I gotta be careful not to eat too much because I need to leave room for dinner and, of course, dessert. It's good. I believe Kenton got the peach-flavored sangria. Fresh. That's a uh, sausage. That looks like. Which one's the venison? I think that might be the venison. And that's the yuca fries. Be, yeah, that's the yuca fries. Doing, boo -boo. What are you doing? <laughs> silly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> silly. Creamy. Yeah. I see the steam coming off of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like they got dried ice in it. Yeah. 
polenta kind of reminds me of the southern grits but creamier it was so good <laughs> is it the is it a bourbon sauce i think yeah i think so you know it's weird to have some guy pour me <laughs> I don't know, man. But I appreciate you. Though. No problem. Thanks. You guys need anything? No, that's it. You're great. Thanks. This is silly. <laughs> All right. Is this a? Let's see. Is this a? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. There you go. Look at that. It's a moose. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, the mango chutney. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. Can you tell Kenton's face looks very red? That's called facial flushing. It's a high sensitivity to alcohol and very common in East Asians or Asian people in general. I'll be honest, even when I'm trying to have a good time, medicine is never far from my mind. <laughs> but let me enjoy this mousse. That was a great dinner. Really nice. And we are definitely stuffed. Full to the brim. So we're just gonna head back to the hotel room. I'm gonna change my shoes and get more comfortable. Oh, I had to take some to go. There was just too much food. Oh, Lord. all right, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. So we're gonna go exploring the hotel. Let's see what the facilities look like. It's devious too, because we need to walk off that food we ate. Mm. Oh my god, I'm so full. <laughs> yeah, that, was, uh, that was a lot. Look at all this interesting art. Um, oh, this is a terrace? You know, this is where they have uh, a banquet area. Oh, but it's been raining and uh let's see. Let's go. Yeah, they've got a tent set up. I mean, it's okay, but no, if you stand out here more than two minutes, it's wet. Yeah. Ooh, it's cold. Can you hear the wind? I love this artwork, though. What a view. What a view. Wow, imagine I drop this camera right now. Not bad, Charlotte. Not bad. <laughs> Apparently, this is the mid level that we were on, and we're going to go up further to the rooftop because you see how tall the building is. Go check out four. Apparently four, there's a wedding going on. Yeah, but we don't want to go there. Yeah, I want to go there. Yeah, there was definitely a wedding reception going on on the fourth floor, but I didn't feel like doing the whole wedding crashing thing. <laughs> so we didn't go in, but I was tempted. He he he. How old am I? <laughs> go ahead, Kenton, let me see you move. Let me see you move. It's the wrong shape. <laughs> it's the wrong shape. <laughs> He's too old for that. <laughs> oh, whoa, before you leave me. <laughs> so the rooftop bar? Closed. The mm -hmm. weather. Yeah. All right, we're going to call it a night, right, Boo Boo? Yeah. I'm just looking. I don't drink like that. <laughs> Not really interested, but it's cute. Good morning. Oh, I feel so much better. Just took a hot, hot shower. Nothing like a good, actually great shower. What? 
I need one of these. I need one of these. <laughs> uh, actually, of course, we all have showers in our house, but not at the same level as this one. That shower head, that heat, that steam, what? Anyway, let me quickly get dressed. Um, wow, even my hair is looking shiny, 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 shiny. And would you believe this hair is like over three weeks old. This is the hair I did myself. Over three weeks old and I'm ready for a new style. I might do twists next time. But um, yeah, so she wants breakfast. The queen would like some breakfast. What are we having before we head back home? And then life goes back to normal. <laughs> But you know what? It's very important to treat yourself. Very important to treat yourself and just to remember that you're human and you deserve, you deserve more. You deserve more. This hustle life, work, 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 work with no breaks is not good. So I'm really, really happy that we took this break and uh, I look forward to planning another one. <laughs> This light is giving, right? Let me back up a little bit. This light is giving. Let's see. And you can see the reflection from the mirror. Look outside. Yeah, you can see me. Ah, there's Mr. Kenton. Say hello, Mr. Kenton. What? We gotta go. I know, we gotta go. Bye. <laughs> so we're back to the car. The Grand Bohemian, right, what, 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 right there, on the roof, roof deck. See, oh, Sally's right there. We came, it was raining. We're leaving, and it's still raining. I hope you enjoyed this luxury shopping and hotel stay. And we're heading back now. That is the sports arena, by the way, in Charlotte great place to visit we will definitely be back soon and yeah i will definitely be sharing the haul or the things that i bought the few things that i bought interestingly on our way back we actually stopped at a major outlet and bought a few things there too so i will be sharing that also uh, i didn't want this vlog to be too long yeah i'm looking at some coach because you know, coach is like affordable luxury <laughs> or affordable designer. Thank you in advance for all your comments. I love reading them. I read every single comment, even if I'm not able to respond to everyone. But yes, thank you, thank you so much. And yes, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because the more you do that, the more likely I am able to take Kenton on another trip right? He deserves a break. He's been studying hard. So let's make it happen. Thank you for watching. Bye!